This episode of Love Tyrant did exactly what I thought it was going to do and what I think it need to do for its final episode. This is pretty much what I think a harem series such as this one should end its final episode with. Because at the core, every single character minus Guri had their chance to accept their love for Seiji. We knew exactly what the series was building up to, but luckily each of the characters for the most part had more than just a trope or a quirk to them, and though they did abuse certain aspects like the whole constantly stabbing people in the head and whatnot, they did abuse certain aspects of these characters. At the core, they all had something to make them feel a bit more special than just harem that is just cut and paste character A, cut and paste character B, C, etc, etc. So this episode concludes every single one of the characters for the most part accepting their love and saying we're all part of Seiji's harem, which is very dumb, but it, that's kind of what the show was. It was a dumb fun show that took it a bit above just being dumb fun and did have some soul and character to it, and I thought it was overall pretty enjoyable. I think, you know, the fact that they actually went to hell and they had pretty much a majority of the episode in hell itself, I actually didn't think of that, which looking back with her leaving Earth and then going to hell, it makes sense that they went there, but I wasn't expecting that. So it was nice to see a different scenery for this final episode and also them using a Mario pipe to get to hell, that's pretty entertaining. But exactly what should happen, Akne following Seiji and saying, all right, I'll help Guri. But of course they did something that was pretty amusing with her, just smacking her saying, oh, I smacked the broken TV, that didn't work, so let's move on. Which is perfectly fit for Akane's character, she doesn't want Guri back, but she doesn't want Seiji mad at her. So I love how they actually handled that, and then ultimately, exactly what she wanted, she just wants Seiji to love him, and then the whole reunion, it was kind of sweet, but then when you look at the grand picture, it's like, this is so stupid, it's just a bunch of people all loving the main character, and then all loving one another, it's just one giant harem, that even though Seiji is the focal point for all their love, it just kind of gets accepted that they're all just gonna love each other, and I think, you know, for a series that's just been so over the top and ridiculous, that's the only way to end a series such as this one, and I think, overall, harem series don't know how to end their stuff. Nisekoi is one of the biggest abusers as of late that just dragged its chapters on time and time again. Literally, I think there's been two seasons of Nisekoi. I don't think there was a third. I think there's been two. But wherever the anime ended, you could actually go, despite it not adapting, like there's, I think there's like 150 chapters like after where the anime ends, go read the final like 10 chapters of Nisekoi and not miss really anything in that series. Like that's how much they milked Nisekoi to death. And it was just the same thing time and time again. They didn't really introduce anything new. And this is what I feel like harem series don't know what to do. They don't know how to end their stuff. And to me, this is where this series should end. Of course, I've heard that, you know, the future arcs pass this and the manga are entertaining and whatnot. But for me, I don't really want anymore. If they were to make a season two, I would definitely give it a shot and see what they do with it. But for me, this is where the series should end. Sure, there is a couple of aspects with Seiji not fully loving Guri back and all the other kind of stuff, but at the core, everything feels satisfying and it feels like it's very easy for this to get milked after this point because you would just be doing the same thing. There definitely could be like areas like going to heaven and hell more, new characters, things like that, but at the core it feels like this harem, this kind of central cast came together and at the core, I feel like this is where it should stop. Even Shikimi herself, she got a bit of backstory there. I feel like there isn't anything that needs to be expanded on. I feel at the core, this is what the series should be, this is where the series should end, and this is a problem that a lot of harem anime just don't, harem anime, manga, light novels, etc. They don't know when to end their stuff, and for me, this is where the series should end, and I'm very satisfied that they ended it in this way. And hopefully, like, if they did do a season two, depending on, like, how merchandise and things like that sold, if they did want to go the extra mile, hopefully it doesn't go, like, a Nisekoi route or something like that, which most of them do. But for me, I'm actually pretty thankful it ended here. I mean, honestly, it might sound weird, but I'm hopeful we don't get a season two, to be 100% honest. Like, I actually really liked how this ended, and I think it's satisfying and conclusive and wrapped up everything that it needed to. I think just overall this season has been very fun, had a lot of funny comedy moments, had some kind of sweet moments, and also some interesting character moments as well with the cast itself, with the art and animation just really making it an amusing series. I think just overall the studio brought their A-game and brought this series to life much more than if you were to read it in the manga because of all the colorful just editing and just animation techniques that they use. I had a blast with this series and I'm excited to see what the summer season will bring and if there will be another series to kind of fill the void that this is going to leave. Like even though I'm very satisfied I don't really feel like, oh man, I, I'm not going to be able to watch this anymore because I feel like it just ended so satisfyingly. But it'll be interesting if there's some sort of series in summer that's going to have something like a sort of charm and flair that this series had, but only time will tell. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you love the episode? Did you hate it? And how did you find that ending? Did you enjoy it or did you want something else in terms of the ending? Let me know your thoughts and before you leave, smack that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.